Who's your informant? I, I, I don't got an informant. I'm sorry. I, I got nothing. I, Who is your informant? I swear to you, I don't have an informant. No. Oh. Who is your informant? I. S d Who is your informant? Who is your informant? <laughs> Dude, you're too good at this. I have no. Oh! 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 Who is your informant? Oh, you're funny. You're you're funny. You're. Who? Oh. oh my God! You're lucky I... you weren't a red sparrow, cause you would be dead. Oh my God! Ah, uh, guys, that's really way too realistic. And uh, you well, wouldn't, you wouldn't want me as a Russian agent, cause you wouldn't last that long. Apparently not. Uh, welcome everybody <laughs> to the brand new movie review for Red <laughs> Sparrow. Boy, you're 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 very handy with this. I have to keep that down in case security comes by. Oh my god! Um, yeah, so of course he is a red sparrow in training. Red sparrow guys. The American version. The American version. Uh so you know we've been seeing trailers for this since sort of late last year, mm -hmm. and I really was excited to finally check it out and. Yeah, where, I mean, where do you want to really start? We really haven't had, I mean, other than Atomic Blonde, it's been, lately it's been kind of um, lacking in terms of spy, In you know, sort of what, the, the, the female espionage kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, it's been kind of light lately. I mean, it's mostly it's, been the Mission Impossible movies, I'm like, eh. I like the Mission Impossible movies, I didn't but... Mind the, I didn't mind the first two, but after a while it gets kind of redundant. You need something new, you need something fresh, you need concepts. You need, you need you're, you're right, I mean, where... Where do you want to start with with Red Sparrow, sir? Well, let's give you a little casting. Yes. We've got Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, who plays Dominica. Mm -hmm. we got Jolie Richardson. Jolie Richardson. Holy shit, that was Jolie Richardson? Yep. Boy, okay, you you noticed that more than I did. Okay, well, yeah. I, I, I looked at the casting at okay. the end of the movie, yeah. so. Uh, Jolie Richardson, you've got uh, Joel Edgerton in this, who mm -hmm. plays uh, the the American sort of CIA agent. You got the, uh, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, Sarah Hines? Uh, uh, Kieran Hines. Kieran Hines. Uh, yes, he's in this as well. You've also got Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons. This too. So, yeah, you've got one hell of a cast, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, you even got Mary Louise Parker in this movie for a yeah. short role. I mean, she's... She's she's not sell, selling weed no and no more. She's just no. not selling secrets. And she's not she's not being in a former red red character. At least not in this movie. It's not in this movie. <laughs> uh, so I mean, what's interesting about this movie is basically the character of Jennifer Lawrence plays Dominica, and she is a, a very well an incredibly talented ballet dancer. And yeah, that was one of the things I saw in a post about this. She wasn't so much uncomfortable with the potential sex scenes. It was the ballet dancing that she was very nervous about doing. And she trained for four months. Well, so, she pulled it off because... I mean, she had a, a, a double at times, too. But she, what she but could do, she did... the parts that you could see. Yeah, she did a great job. And basically, what happens is there's a tragic accident that happens. And she ends up... Uh, no longer being able to do ballet, and her uncle gives her this ultimatum, help me out. Basically, the main reason she's doing this is because her mother's ill, and she yeah. needs the money in order to f fund her health care. Basically, it's about her, her helping her mother. Yes, and she does this, and she sees something she's not supposed to see. Yes. And her uncle says, well, you're either... You got two options, two, basically. Basically, get killed. And die, or become an operative. Become an operative. Become a sparrow, and that's what she ends up doing. It's not much of a choice. Not much of a, a My, choice. This is but Russia that we're talking about. This so. is Russia, and they're uh, hardcore. They are hardcore in in Russia, mind you. I'm I'm never taking a trip to, to Russia to save my life. You would Never. Five minutes. Ooh. You'd, get, you'd get off the plane, you'd be like, uh, it's too cold here. I have to I'd land out. five minutes, and I, I would I would just be like, they, they would be like, you know. I'm ready to go the, home now. This is, return ticket. This is an uh, American white guy. Let's just, you know, just, just screw this guy over. Jewish American white guy. Um, I will say this. Um, Jennifer Lawrence does an absolutely amazing job with this movie, man. Flawless. She is fearless in this role. Fearless, and she is just 
bold and it I was worried about like that she was gonna be betraying you know when you find out the movie and then she's portraying a Russian because a lot of actors can't really pull off accents that well I thought hers was decent I thought it was decent too I could kind of tell a few moments where she she was kind of breaking it a little mm -hmm. bit but I don't think that it was you know so much that it takes you out of the movie I think yeah. she actually was really good with that accent overall um yeah she is amazing in this and you know a lot of people over the years has kind of I don't want to say they've bagged on Jennifer Lawrence but I think they've kind of are like she's overrated and everything. I'll, I'll tell you something. Watch this movie, and you yeah. won't dare say she's I mean, ever I overrated. I've seen the last two movies that she's done, but you know, I think I think she when I first saw her, she did well in the Hunger Games, at least the first couple couple films. Yeah, and, I mean, I thought she did very well in this. She you know? she did an amazing job in this movie. She did, and you know, Joel Edgerton is just as awesome in this movie mm -hmm. too. He's fantastic. I love him as an actor picks all kinds of different wonderful projects. What was the last one we saw him in? Um, well, I last saw him in Bright. But well, other than that, other it, was, than Bright, uh, it comes at night, right? It comes at night, and even though we didn't love that movie, I thought he did a good performance in yeah. that movie as well. Um, I thought that uh, Jeremy Irons, of course, for the small role he does have, mm -hmm. he's incredibly effective and really wonderful in the movie as well. Uh, Kieran Hines, small role, does a great job as well. Everybody does a great job in this movie. Yeah, I don't... I, honestly, I, I mean, basically, in the movie, her character's learn... Uh, Jennifer Lawrence's character, D'Amico, is supposed to learn how to read people, you know, learn how to, uh, you know, sense their desires, you know, what how to manipulate them. And yes, how to manipulate people. She does people. That extremely well in this film. Oh, man, the manipulations, and, you know... The crosses and the double crosses and the triple crosses and it's like, who can you trust? You know, I mean that's the thing. I mean, I mean there are some points I was like, oh, she's not gonna, you know, she's not gonna be the double or triple agent, you know. And then then she does something you <laughs> unexpected. And then just something unexpected where you don't see it coming. And I and I man, I thought it was incredibly effective, man. I just mm -hmm. really did. And I will say this that you know the brutality of this film. Kind of surprising for me. You thought it was surprising? Well, the one torture scene later on with uh, Joel Edgerton, so... Oh, yeah. I mean, the torture scene with him. But, I mean, other scenes, though, whether it's you see, like, other people getting tortured or people, like, you know, just being very vulnerable or mm -hmm. anything, it's just... It's got this air of, like, oh, my God, like, anything can happen. Like, mm -hmm. you, you don't know who's going to die or... Who's going to, you know, double cross whoever. You just don't know. And I thought that was just, that was incredibly effective. I thought that was really great in the movie, too. I think one of the other best parts for me is, like, showing the training of how they become sparrows. Yes, I thought that was bold. Because basically, basically, it's like, I don't want to say she goes to this sort of school to learn it. But it's not really even a school. It's more of like this, there's, they, they select certain people based on, uh, of course, their beauty and, and skills and skills and the idea that basically they are trained to serve Russia mm -hmm. and to basically do their bidding and manipulate whoever needs to be manipulated mm -hmm. is basically what it comes down to. And I forget one of the actresses we did decline to main is like one of the trainee or trainers for the Red Sparrow School is Charlotte Rampling. Where have I seen Charlotte Rambling before? I oh could have man, sworn. she's been in quite a few things. I just forget what she's yeah, been in. Yeah, the name is familiar. I know the face is familiar too. I'm I'm, I'm blanking she's now. Done, but she, I mean, her is the main trainer. She's like she's brutal, but she's honest. You know, how yes. she does what she's doing. She's brutal, but she's honest. And I love moments where she just casually says, you know, take off your clothes, or you know, or give this guy a blow job. I mean not 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 that she's being like comical about it. She's actually training these people to say, you know, you need to do whatever you have yeah. to do to get information. I don't care if it's if it's getting naked. Learn I don't care if it's learn how to pleasure them into submitting information. Submitting you know, information, stuff like that. Let it's them fall in love with you, you know, no commitment or you know, no emotional ties to them. Just do whatever it takes to get the job done. Yes. It's harsh training, but it's actually stuff that you're like Wow, man, did they really do this stuff? Like, I my mean, God, man. There was a powerful scene for me when she's doing a training. They're, they're, she gets called in front of the class. She has a conflict with another uh, another Red Sparrow. 
and she basically has a chance to confront him right there in front of him using it was like it's like what does he want it's like he wants he wants to dominate he wants to have the power over that person yeah she pulled that shit off well yes oh my god she made him into a yes. little bitch and you know what it's a bold like i said it's a bold performance from her because you know i'm not gonna lie there is nudity in this film there is you tasteful know nudity. tasteful nudity it's not overdone it's you know there's there's a lot of sexuality in mm -hmm. in the movie and it's meant not to be like uh tantalizing it's meant yeah. to seductive it's, you know manipulative manipulative kind of thing and she I, pulls it off goddamn well cuz i would tell her anything she wants to fucking know wow so, you'd give up every secret you had you wouldn't I'd give you up well depend on how how good the sex is with her and again, look at her. We've been friends for like practically 20 years. You, you you just give me up like that? Damn, man. If you had a shot with Jennifer Lawrence, wouldn't you? I would never give you up. Never. Fucking liar. <laughs> never. I'm loyal to the end. I am, guys. Trust me. Okay, Pinocchio. <laughs> uh, no, no, look. I mean... I, oh god, me, don't use the gun, will you? If she asked me to kill you, to uh, bang her a couple times. Sorry, Seth. <laughs> I no, will look. say this, though. The Russian torture techniques, holy shit. Yes, very old school, very brutality. Still effective, though. Incredibly effective. I like, again, I thought the movie had a lot of great, interesting parts to it. And, again, it's interesting because you don't really get to see these kind of, of espionage thrillers done anymore. I, I haven't seen one like this in a while. I, even something like We Loved Atomic Blonde, but Atomic Blonde wasn't like this. It wasn't so much she was like... That one was more more action type. This yes. one's more like the manipulation, seductive, you know, like getting information by any means necessary type. Yeah, this is a fantastic, a fantastic movie. And this movie is directed by Francis Lawrence. Now, Francis Lawrence did I Am Legend and Water for Elephants. He also did um, all of the other Hunger Games after the first one. And that's why some of them bombed, right? At the later ones, anyway. Well, no, they're all there. I mean, except for the the final one, but they're all pretty good. I mean, he's 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 definitely an interesting director, and I like him as a director. Mm -hmm. I think this is his best film yet, man. I mean, the wow, dir that's high praise coming from him. The direction of the movie, the performances he gets of the actors, the 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 beautiful cinematography. Whether oh, we're yeah. talking about. Uh, in, in Russia or Budapest or London. London or anything like that. I mean, the, the cinematography, the beautiful locations, it all looks stunning and amazing. He did, did a fantastic job. And look, I mean, I'm not going to lie. This movie was, there were moments, you know, that I look back on, like, you know, uh, checking out the trivia for this movie. And it says that things like Darren Aronofsky... Uh, was supposed to direct this movie or David Fincher both are fantastic directors and I think both would have done an amazing job with this but I, I give Francis Lawrence a lot of credit he did an amazing job with this movie it's not easy to make in this type of movie espionage thrillers no it's not easy to do it and as far as actresses go look Rooney Mara was supposed to star in this but before Jennifer it's, Lawrence it's like I told him before we even did this review I could see her as like another sparrow, you know, like a backup sparrow helping her out. I could not see her as mainly. Not no, this type of absolutely film. not. And I'm not saying Rooney Mara is not a strong actress. I think she no. is a strong actress, but like, you know, that's why you bring in Jennifer Lawrence because you well, get it's that also, performance. Also, it's like, like if you're gonna do a movie like this, you want to make her make the character, you know. You got to get something that's amazingly beautiful, but also, like, extremely fragile underneath. Yes. And her character does get really strong by the end of this film. She does. She starts out kind of fragile, very sort of meek, but she becomes a, an incredibly strong woman, very manipulative woman, over the course of, mm -hmm. of the film. And, again, me being a, a lover of strong female characters, I mean, I, I appreciate it once the ending mm -hmm. came. I yeah, did. Even the ending is kind of perfect when you think about it. The ending of... This movie. Oh, the ending of... Oh, yeah. Yes, it's very incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. And 
again, I think that this is a movie that hasn't been, I, I mean, it got promoted well enough, but I don't think it got promoted to the point where everybody's going to see this movie. I encourage people to see this movie. Oh, yeah. It is a fantastic, fantastic film. And there's a part near the, not before the end, but like when they're doing this uh, transfer scene. Yeah. There, there's a thing that you will not see. You think you're like, oh, it's going to end that way, but it really, it does a, a 180 on you. You think it's going to go, and that's another thing I appreciate it. Thank you for br bringing that up, is the idea that there's twists and turns in this movie that you don't see coming. Mm -hmm. Because there's moments where the film tells you this is where it's going. And so you're expecting it to go that way. And then when it doesn't, you're pleasantly surprised. At least I yeah. was. I really love that, that well, it's twist these and turns. Types of film, types of films that keep you guessing till the end of the film. Yes. I really enjoyed that a lot. I thought that was, was brilliant. Like I said, I you know, I mean... And there is something I do want to bring up real quick, which is that there's a lot of talk of eventually we may down the line get a Black Widow movie. We might. Is technically what we saw tonight the Black Widow movie? Could we have just not gotten that anyways? Could this be the one anyways? I mean, really? I mean... Do we really need it after this film? I mean, this film pretty much tells almost like what the story is. I mean... It has Should've a lot been. of similarities with the Black Widow program. I mean, learn, to manipulate, and seduce, and you know, assassinate its potential. I mean, it's yeah. almost a duplicate copy, but just played by different actors. I mean, but I almost think that this movie, we don't really need a Black Widow movie. Once you see this movie, you're like, that. This is basically the story. You you don't you don't need another Black Widow movie. You I got mean, one right here. And I mean, you get enough. You get enough of her past when you do the Age of Ultron, where you see like the, her past visions and see what some of the stuff that she had to go through. It's like, like I said, I think this is a fantastic, fantastic film, and it's easily something that needs to be watched. I will also say, I think the action is really good in this movie as well. Uh, the, the the small action stuff we do get in the movie, which isn't much, but the stuff we get in it, I thought was that was incredibly effective as well. Overall, a very effective effective little espionage thriller yeah and like i said nowadays you don't really get those and this is definitely yeah, a special one it's not easy getting these types of films anymore mm -hmm. i mean i honestly wasn't bored in the film I no mean, this movie did no. not make me like drift off a little i mean it kept me entertained well enough to keep it keep going yeah i was really pleasantly surprised by this movie i mean, I mean it's mean, almost a two and a half uh, about 215 about 220. two fifteen, two, something like that but i think it kind of breezes by at least for me it did trust uh, me i've seen a lot i've seen a lot of spy films some some spy films just there was one that made me want to just fall asleep in the theater i mean because it was the action the whole storyline just which one was that? that? Slow? Tinker Tailor Soldier. Oh, Tinker Tailor Soldier. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy was like a little bit of a bore fest, but I mean, the the performances were were good. I mean, I'll yeah. give it that much. But I mean, this definitely is better than Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. And um, you got Jennifer oh, yeah. Lawrence is a hot Russian spy. I mean, what else do you really need? That's true. <laughs> uh, I mean, what are your final thoughts and grade rating uh, on uh, I mean, Red Sparrow? <laughs> I mean, I thought there was a decent enough action, and, you know, Jennifer Florence really played the role well. Uh, Jolie DeJin played, you know, the, you know, the kind of, the co-act, you know, the co-actor, you know, something to side her, you know, with the potential what if, you know, what kind of life she could have if she was free. Or, yeah. Um... I thought oh, the movie was very well done. The, the, the scenery was very great. Oh, yeah. Um, the acting was great. Mm. Storyline leads up to maybe a potential sequel down the road. Maybe. If they want to do one. Um, honestly, I thought this movie was... I won't give it a perfect grade because, I mean, there was... I thought there could be a little, tiny bit more action in this film, but... Yeah, you know, it kept me enough to keep me satisfied. I'd have to give this movie probably a very. It's gonna be like right on the border. It's gonna be a very low A minus, almost over to the B plus area. But a very low A minus. Low A minus, okay. Uh, you know, look, I think something that we didn't touch on real quick. I think the chemistry between 
Joel Edgerton and Jennifer Lawrence was fantastic in the movie. I think they they were amazing t together. Definitely, you could feel the tension and the the sort of mistrust. Mm. Uh, I love that a lot. I also really thought that the gore in the movie, at least the 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 blood, they didn't shy away from it. No, and I thought that was really fantastic as well. Sometimes you know they they want to kind of not show it too much. Here yeah. they they did, and I liked it. <coughs> uh, you know, for me, look. It's a great espionage thriller. Again, I'll say again because, you know, look, we got a lot of these movies back in sort of the the 80s and the 90s, mm -hmm. some in the early 2000s, but we haven't had much really since. It really died up since then. It's really sort of dried up. And I think that this, hopefully this sort of is a resurgence to bring those back because, man, I really love this movie. It's absolutely recommend to see it. For me, I'm going to give it uh, a solid A. A solid A, it's fantastic, and, you know, again, it's too early to tell if Jennifer Lawrence would ever get nominated for an Oscar for this movie or not, but, I mean, she does a performance worthy of it, so, you know, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, who knows, man. Maybe she'll Red Sparrow it. Who knows? However, the great thing about it is that now I have a training guide on how to be a, a double agent, which is actually really cool. This is, I'm not a double agent. Goodbye, Seth. Oh. Oh, wait, there's nothing but blame. Oh, whoo. God. Maybe your training is complete. Thank God, with you as my trainer. Good oh, Lord. Wait, we forgot the torture scene. I'm gonna get some electrodes. They gotta get taped to his balls. My my balls are just fine. You don't need to touch them. Uh, all right, guys, that'll do it for the uh, <laughs> review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Bang! And uh, we will be back next time for another movie review. Get with... your hood back on, bitch. Oh my hood. Oh. Oh. Whatever the Mr. Torturer says. Say goodbye to your little friends. Oh, God! Don't go near that thing with... No, my balls are off limits. Okay. Not God. If not if you're in Russia. Ah, oh, thank God I'm not in Russia. All right. See you later, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez.